What is up, fam? Welcome back to Leslie Jones Tarot. This reading here is for my Scorpio Zodiac signs. We're going to do a couple of Scorpio readings today, and I'll try to do some um, collective messages as well. Maybe like one or two messages for the collective. So let's dive in. Let's get the overall energy first. And y'all know I'm always back and forth with these decks. I don't know which one. Let's do Soul's Journey. Overall energy. For Scorpio, I hope y'all are having an amazing weekend. Y'all just got up not too long ago. I'm not going to lie. All right, let's see what's going on with Scorpios. What's going on with my Scorpios? What's going on with my Scorpios? Love. Okay. Okay. I wasn't ready for that. All right, so love. I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. Okay, I like that. So, Scorpio, you're finding love in all things that you do, whether it's just, you know, waking up in the morning. Oh, wow, this is a beautiful day. I love it, okay? Having a blessing to wake up and, and you know, have another life on this beautiful earth, right? Uh, finding love in, like, your work, um, your children, you know, just being able to be like, oh, my gosh, I just love having the roof over my head and, you know, food in my belly. Just, you know, whatever feels good to you. You know, if it makes you feel like, yay, it's like, okay, I love it. You know, I love it. But if it makes you feel, you know, kind of wonky, I see you kind of like not really putting energy, time, and effort into it here with this love card. You're going towards the things that make you feel good, that love you and that you show love to. Like if you show love to it and it shows love to you back, I see you giving to it here. You're realizing the importance of like that equal reciprocity here. This red color on here is reminding me of the base chakra. So whatever makes you feel grounded, whatever makes you feel, um, you know, the stability is stability. It's also the purple is uh, the third eye chakra as well. So it's like, you know, being able to see through the illusions of things. OK, being able to realize what feels good in your energy and what doesn't. You also have growth at the bottom of the deck. I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. Again, I'm getting third eye chakra, throat chakra off with this card here. So it's like, you know, if you see with your third eye, because, you know, a lot of times something can come dressed up in a suit, you know, looking nice, looking good. And then, you know, you tap into it or you allow it into your energy and you realize shit, this shit is chaotic. You know, it's, it's chaos. It's, it's not good. This isn't healthy. Like in, on an energetic level, you can see through certain things. So a lot of you, again, it's more of like, what feels good to me? What allows me to level up? What can I grow from, expand from? You know, if I pour into this, is it going to expand? Is it going to build and grow into something beautiful? Or is it going to take from me and like literally squeeze me like a sponge, you know? So I see y'all pouring into that type of energy. Pride, I love myself and I see myself in everyone. And the thing with this pride card, you is giving me of like, you know, I'll give you the chance. I give you the opportunity. But once you show me who you are and what you're about, you know, if I need to let you go, I'll let you go. Freedom. I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. Again, it's about it's like this is your universe. Oh, I'll give you a chance. Yeah, absolutely. OK, cool beans. We can hang out. We can do this. Da, 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 da. And then you hang out. And then if this person shows you that first time that they are, you know, envious or deceitful you know not a truth teller you know that type of energy you kind of distance yourself from it because it fucks with your energy because what i'm getting is like you're on a higher vibration scorpio so you're very sensitive i'm getting like the sensitivity to energy and you're realizing like with this freedom card and pride card i don't care who you are or what you are to me you know like your label aunt mom sister brother whatever you don't get to be entitled to be in my energy. With the freedom card, I get to choose if I'm allow you in my energy. And again, this is giving me that throat chakra energy and that third eye chakra energy here of seeing through the bullshit. <laughs> you know, again, like the way that I always said, like you can take a turd and dress it up and make it all pretty and, and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, it's still shit, you know. So let's see. <laughs> let's see. All right. What's going on with my Scorpios? What's going on with my Scorpios? And no one's saying that love is perfect or anything like that. It's just, you know, you know when somebody trying to, you know, fuck you over. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, oh, I'm going to come in here because Scorpio loves me. So they always let me borrow money. Or I'm going to come here, come in here because Scorpio loves me. Uh, they always allow me to take advantage of them. You know, that type of energy. Let's get one more on this love card. 
with Scorpio. Give me another one. Ooh, that one fell out quick. What's that? Action. Yeah. Journey. You're on this new path, Scorpio. I like it. It's like, it's being lit. On here it says, if I can see that. Hold on, y'all. Crossroads. Scenic view. Circus. No, Curious Town. I thought it said Circus Town. And in... And number 15 or something like that here. So it's like you have choices. Again, like you have choices in the directions that you want to go. I see you taking action towards things that love you and show love to you. You know, again, not really just like pouring into empty cups or or cups with holes in it. Like, you know, you, you pour into it. it. It doesn't pour back into, into you here. It's like, you know, it's a sponge. It absorbs your energy and then that's it, you know. Yeah, indecision and journey. Maybe at one point, patience is here. This is giving me like at one point, you would patiently wait on somebody to decide to do right by you or like um, take up for you or stand up for you, you know, something like that. And I feel like that's changing about you, Scorpio. With you on this journey card, you're like, you know, hey, <laughs> you show me that you'll fuck me over, baby. I, I, I just needed to be hit in the head once. Like, I don't there's no need for me to keep learning this lesson. I've been there, done that. So you're kind of like moving on, taking action. Not afraid to really cut things off or set yourself free from people or situations. Give me another here for Scorpio. And this is more about loving yourself. Yeah, angel of strength. You don't hold back any punches. And um, with the attachment here, I see you releasing things or like certain attachments don't have like a strong grip on you anymore here with this angel of strength. Because this is the line energy here. Maybe at one point. You didn't have enough strength or courage to walk away from something or someone here that you were attached to. It could have been quite uh, quite toxic, you know. Um, this could also, again, that energy I was getting, like, somebody come in, all dressed up, look nice, okay. You know, you, you bow tie, everything, all that stuff, right. And then you find out it's a piece of shit, right. You're starting to see things clearly now. Six chakra, I told you that the third eye is wide open. Like, you can see through the, you're taking off the rose-colored glasses. You can see through the the fake facades and the fake mask and stuff like that that people wear. And you're starting to realize what are toxic attachments and what's loving attachments. Like, well, I don't want to say loving attachment, like loving energy, you know. It doesn't have as bad of a hold. Maybe, again, it's like when you're on the lower vibration, it's easier for toxic things to attach onto you, to latch onto you. But now that you're in this higher vibration of love, which is the one of the highest vibrations you can be on is in the uh, energy of love, okay? It's like realizing, because when you're loving, when you're this loving energy, you know, that's what it's all about. You love all things. You love everything. You love the, oh, I'm, I'm in love with the breath that I breathe, you know, the, the air that comes in my lungs. I'm in love with the fact that I can blink and I can see, you know, I'm in love with waking up and being able to just be grateful for having another day. Like it's it's something like that. And like you're realizing, you're realizing not everybody's like that, you know? And it's like, I'm okay to cut certain shit away. If it don't feel good to me, if it don't make me feel like, yay, I'm just, I'm like, yo, you got to go. Like for chakra and deceit. Yeah. I don't need anybody trying to deceive my love or deceive my heart or play on my emotions or or play on me. And if you even feel just a slight of this, I see you kind of like, oh, no, 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 baby. <laughs> no, I see through that. We good. Okay, we good. Oh, my gosh, you're driving fast. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Let me get a couple more cards here. You sure you don't want to call your dad? See if... Okay. All right. All right, anyways, let's keep going. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. My son has a football game, but his dad ain't picked him up yet. So we're going to see. All right, let's see. What's going on? Nine of Wands. Okay. So, yeah, again, this is like Wounded Warrior energy. The uh, Temperance is on the bottom of the deck. This is about Hermit. Not Hermit. This is, oh, my gosh. Maybe you're in Hermit energy. Maybe you're kind of like ghosting situations, letting things go. But um, this is about balance and being in alignment here. Feeling good, you know. Not only are you tapped into the physical, but you're also tapped into the spiritual realm here as she has her, her feet planted in the water and the earth. It's like you're grounded, right? And you're also grounded emotionally, financially, abundantly. You're grounded as far as the earth and far as the spiritual realm, as far as your emotions. Again, like vibrating on the high energy of love, the frequency of love here. This nine of wands energy, you are, it's like the wounded warrior energy, right? I see you not wanting to 
although you have fight in you, right? You have fight. I'm not saying that you're weak or nothing like that. You have fight in you, right? You can go, okay, baby? Don't get it twisted. I might have these bandages and whatnot, but baby, I can go another round. But this is more of like, I've learned so many lessons here because this nine of wands is also protection. You know, I've learned, you've learned so many lessons from all of these ass whoopings, you know, all of these fights, all of these battles. You've learned a lot, but you never gave up. And so now you're in this piece of, what's worth fighting for and what's not worth fighting for you know if i love it and it loves me then yeah absolutely i'm gonna I'm a put the dukes up but if i love it and it doesn't love me and it's just hurting me and beating me up i'm not putting no more energy time effort into that page of swords knight of swords and the ace of wands there could be some gossip going on about how you're like cutting away people this could be somebody you know trying to charge at you like wanting to start something up again with this ace of wands because it but i feel like it's not a good energy this is like somebody wanting to disturb your peace type of energy like oh page of swords knight of swords could be stalking as well watching ace of wands it's like somebody wanting to come forward and have a new start with you but scorpio i feel like this energy that you're in yeah the star card wanting to heal something the page of pentacles could be an apology or love offer or new opportunity here starting from Starting from the bottom, okay? It's like somebody wants a a new passionate, fiery beginning here, want, wanting to heal something. This could be an apology, you know, maybe from some gossip or some things that were said that weren't quite nice. Six of Wands and the Temperance card. Again, it's kind of like I'm doing good over here, you know? Let's see. Give me another card here for Scorpio, please, Spirit. Queen of Swords. What did I tell you? You're kind of like... When it comes to certain people and situations, you're kind of like cutthroat, Scorpio. The moon card, the judgment. Yeah, it's kind of, some of y'all, y'all have already made up your mind. Or this could be somebody wanting a second chance with you, but they're not revealing it or not showing it here with this judgment and the moon card. But I feel like, Scorpio, you're disconnected from this Queen of Swords. You're emotionally detached from this. Yeah, Six of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles. Yeah, you're holding back from this. It's like you don't want to give to this anymore or give to this particular situation. Sorry, y'all. If y'all see me looking outside, I'm watching my son. Ace of Swords. It's because you became clear. You see the truth about something. You have clarity about something or someone. And it's like, oh, no, I don't want to give back to that anymore. I don't want to pour into that anymore. Hmm. Give me another, please, spirit. I see the seven of swords, four of swords. You could have healed from some type of lies, deceit, betrayal. What's going on with Scorpio, please, spirit? What's going on with Scorpio? Yeah, nine of swords in reverse. You're getting out of your head about something. Maybe at one point in time, you had like sleepless nights. You know, there was a lot of chaos going on in your head while you were trying to rest here. The tower card, the two of pentacles. Maybe you were going back and forth on a situation here. But I feel like... Scorpio, you've gained some type of clarity that has released you from certain things here. Queen of Wands, Five of Swords, Three of Swords, and the King of Wands. Ooh. Could have been a third party situation here as well with this Queen of Wands, Five of Swords, Three of Swords, and King of Wands. A clash of the egos could be. But this could have also been like a, a third party situation where somebody felt like they had to win at all cost. It could have really, really hurt you at some point. Because this, I mean, Queen of Wands and Kings of, King of Wands, that's matching counterparts. The Temperance here. It's like somebody wants to heal from it. Five of Wands. Heal from the chaos. Ace of Wands. Heal from the argument, the drama. Somebody's admitting defeat to, you know, and it's it's breaking some, I feel like somebody's admitting defeat. Queen of Wands, Five of Swords, and it's breaking somebody else's heart. Three of Swords, King of Wands, and then the Temperance, the Five of Wands, and Ace of Wands. And I feel like it's because... Balance is being restored here with this temperance card. You know, things are coming into alignment and somebody's realizing that this, they invested in a lot of drama, a lot of competition, a lot of Knight of Pentacles, a lot of nonsense here. I don't know if they're trying to start back over. You done got out of your head about it or something like that. It feels like it's a third party. It's a tower moment is what I'm saying. But let's see. What is this? Clarify the Nine of Wands. What's this nine of wands about? Or Scorpio, please, spirit. Talking shit. What I tell you? Like, some of y'all, it's like this nine of wands energy. Like, there's, I'm telling y'all, some of y'all might have, like, had to defend yourself 
or feel like you had to fight for your truth or fight for something here. And it all had to do with somebody talking shit behind your back or talking shit about you at one point, you know. This could have been someone saying, oh, Scorpio's weak. Oh, Scorpio don't know how to do this. Don't know how to do that. And little did they know behind the scenes you were fighting battles like it was nothing. Like you fought it all off. Yeah, like you, you're trying to distance yourself from this here. It's like somebody wanted you to feel outcasted, wanted you to feel alone. Somebody could have been playing on your mental with this confused card. But this, I feel like this is also whoever talked shit about you or like ran off at the mouth. They're looking at you like, damn, how does Scorpio make it through that? Like, how how does Scorpio overcome all of this with this nine of wands? Like, that, like Scorpio strong as shit, you know, like that type of energy. Like, everything they threw at you, you still overcame it for some reason with this travel car. And they're traveling in style. That's the thing. And it's like, now you're distancing. It's like, the more shit they talk, the more you distance yourself from it. But you also, like, fought it all off. Like, this could have been someone saying, like, Scorpio isn't financially stable you fought it off and come to find out you were you working your ass off you got more money than a lot of people even know or scorpio uh scorpio's a slut or scorpio's a, a pimp and then come to find out you've been in a stable relationship for the past three four years right um uh, scorpio doesn't have a job come to find out you work two jobs you know something like that it's like so i did a lot of shit talking here. what the hell give me another on the nine of wands for scorpio they lost their chance or you did yeah look and it's like you overcame this they lost their chance or you did this could be like a bitter ex for some of y'all like an ex-friend you know mother father something like that somebody's not happy and now it's like all that shit that somebody talked like you still fought through it. you still overcame it and now somebody's realizing that again like you're strong you're powerful you're you were more powerful like somebody what's the word i'm looking for Somebody misjudged you. That's where. Thank you, spirit. Somebody misjudged you. Like they, they thought you were a weakling. I guess so. They thought like, oh, we could talk shit about Scorpio. Scorpio ain't gonna do nothing. Yeah. Look, ain't shit moves in silence. Bad reputation. It's like somebody tried to ruin your reputation by talking this shit about you here. Little did you, little did they know you were moving in silence, making moves in silence. And now somebody's realizing like, oh wow, you were just talking the shit because you really ain't shit. You were just projecting. You know, putting that off on. Scorpio yeah look bankrupt fake, fle fake flexing and now somebody's seeing oh you were just mad because no matter what you threw at Scorpio Scorpio overcame it or Scorpio got through it here you're just mad because you said Scorpio didn't have money but you actually don't have any money you said Scorpio was a fake come to find out you out here fake flexing you said Scorpio was a slut come to find out you the slut like it's it's something like that like somebody ran off at the mouth only to find out Ran off at the mouth because they lost an opportunity with you here. Or they wanted another opportunity with you here, but they had lost it because of what they were, the shit that they was talking. Bankrupt and fake flex. And now somebody's seeing them for who they truly are. Like, you don't have any money. You're broke. You out here fake flex and like you got it like that and you really don't. What the fuck, y'all? <laughs> All right, give me another one here. For this nine of wands. And it's talking shit with they lost their chance or you did. This is coming back to that energy of love. Like, yo, you show me love. I show you love. But you show me that you will stab me in the back and talk behind my back. I don't want anything to do with you, right? Here find the nine of wands talking shit and they lost their chance. The lovers. Yeah, this is like a bitter ex with the lovers card. Hold on, guys. No, he just texted me. He said he'll be here soon. Um, So it's like somebody, again, it's like this is like a bitter ex that chose to go behind your back or betray you in some sort of way because the lovers is about choice it's a choice that's made it's free will right so somebody could have chose to go behind your back and talk shit about you and things like that and they're realizing they lost the chance with you here with this high honor here false person this is like somebody coming off like you know they're better than what they are and then come to find out they were fake flexing the whole time they just wanted people to respect them to look up to them to see them as like the best option you know this is like one of those exes that they did some fucked up shit to you and then they go out and like drag your name in the mud to make themselves feel better or look like the better suitor here like oh they're not stable they can't take care of the kids or 
oh, they have money problems or they, you know, they're a cheater or, you know, they have STD, whatever the fuck they say, you know, just a bitter ex. And somebody's realizing, like, none of it was true. Like, you fought through all of that shit. Like, oh, my gosh. Like, it's unnecessary stuff. Yeah. House, main female, and pathway. And some of y'all could have, like, and you could be male or female. It's just a feminine energy here. Some of y'all could have just been nurturing on your stability, you know. Well, let me take care of uh, house and home. Let me take care of this home environment, this stability, you know. Yeah, it's like y'all kind of took the high road, you know, instead of dabbling in low vibrational shit, you know. Okay, what about the Queen of Swords? Clarify the Queen of Swords for Scorpio. Block. What I tell you, yo, like this is the perfect card to clarify the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords, I'm saying so. She don't take no shit. She's like, bitch, I will let you come talk to me, but the moment you show me that you deceptive, I'm going to cut your head off. Like, do not do not play with me. Like, this is you. I feel like you're tapped into this energy here. Yeah, uninterested, rejected, ego. This is like somebody that's been in their ego, that's running off of their ego. They feel some type of way because they don't want to get rejected or they feel rejected here. They feel like you're uninterested in them. Like, you just, you don't have any interest in talking to them. You're like a truth teller. You say it like it is. You're very slick on the tongue. Like, hey, look. I'm going to be blunt. I don't, I don't, I'm not going to sugarcoat nothing. Like, yeah, moving on. Thank you, next crying of you. And now somebody is like in their feelings about this because it's like, I don't know if this person is trying to come back and like try to rekindle something or trying to um, get in contact with you in some sort of way. But you're like, no, you said what you said. Stand on this shit. Like, it is what it is. I'm moving on. And like, it's somebody's feelings are hurt. They may not expect, you know, because normally Scorpio is very loving, very caring. But some, it's like somebody hasn't seen the side of you before. Clarify by the Queen of Swords for Scorpio, please, Spirit. Oh, now I see why. Drama starter. But, because somebody brought a lot of drama towards you or at, at, at your doorstep or towards your feet or something like that. Somebody put you in a lot of drama and you were like, I don't have time for this. Like this, this shit right here fed up yeah acting cold like you keep getting these cold toxic the bad bad habits drug drugs addictions and toxicities like you're realizing that somebody's just toxic like yo i don't have time for this this is low vibrational stuff this stuff is affecting my money my time my my stability i don't have time for this so i'm cutting it off okay it, it's like you're I don't know if this person always comes to you with some bullshit and you're like, look, I don't want to hear it. Like you, either you could do this and fix it or just keep the fuck on. Don't bring it back over here. Like, and it's not that you're trying to be an asshole. It's just, you're trying to be high vibe. Like you're on your high vibrational shit. You're in this energy of love. Like I will, I would care about you and stuff like that. But if you're putting me in drama or you're putting me in toxic situations or scenarios, or you're being toxic, not being truthful, I don't have time. Right. This is like somebody coming to you and asking you for some money and you're like, well, you know, what do you need it for? Is everything OK? And they're like, you know, I really had a bad week. I got laid off or something like that. Right. And they come and tell you that. And you're like, OK. And then come to find out they just fucked over their money because they had a drug addiction or they fucked over their money because they went to the club and blew it on some bullshit. And then you find that out and then you're like, I'm done. I'm done with you. Like you're not giving them any second chances or anything like that. And to you, good chemistry, great vibes, and positive, and then karmic friends, yeah. Some of y'all, these are like friends, families, can't fully trust them, tension, secret competition. This is like people, I'm, keep your friends close and your enemies close. I'm telling you, it's like, I speak to you, but it's going to be very blunt, very frank. It's not going to be anything in depth. And most of these people, you're just completely blocking out of your life because you feel like they bring a lot of toxicity or drama into your life. And you feel out of balance or you feel out of whack with this with these particular people or person. Like maybe you've warned this person before, or these people before, like, hey, like, you know, I can't I can't be around this drama or I can't be around this kind of stuff. Again, it's like sensitive energy. Like maybe every time this particular person comes around, your money starts fucking up or things start happening. You're like, whoa, like what's going on? And then you realize it's this person's energy. Like, this person's energy is fucked up. And you're like, I cannot deal with this. Like, you got to go, okay? Clarify the Queen of Swords blocked and drama starter. Clarify the Queen of Swords blocked and drama starter for Scorpio. Toil and labor, unexpected income. And a lot of y'all, y'all are blocking these people off because it's like they feel like they always can get something out of you or 
you it's like maybe you were the one always putting in work time energy and effort into them and they always expected you to do this here with this false person and unexpected uh income like this is someone that always expected you to be there but you but something something like really just mature woman distant horizons and courthouse yes yeah, something really this is like you know karmic justice here this could also be a divorce or separation here like or moving towards this divorce or separation with the mature woman, distant horizons, and courthouse. It could be male or female, just the uh, feminine energy here. Somebody seeing that it's not just an illusion, like this is real, like this is really happening, this is about to go down type of thing. It's like somebody always thought you was willing to put in work towards something, even if it was toxic though, but you were like, hell no, I'm done. <laughs> like, like You got me messed up, you think I'm going to keep... Mm -mm. This is more of like loving on yourself and knowing that your worth and your value is more, means more to you than this particular person or situation. Okay, what about the Nine of Swords in reverse for Scorpio? Reflecting. Yeah, players on the bottom of the deck. Some of y'all, this was a person that was inconsistent, very in and out of your life, okay? Someone that uh, played a lot of games with you here that always had you in your head, but you're looking back and realizing it and seeing it for what it truly was, you know? What I tell y'all, I told y'all at the beginning of the reading, I said, a lot of these people are dressed up in like these suits, these bow ties and things like that look really, really good. And when, when it all comes down to it at the end of the day, they're still a piece of shit. It's still a piece of shit. Like you can dress the turn up and it's still a piece of shit, right? Boss daddy and dirty offer. <laughs> That's perfect. Perfect combination here. Some of y'all are looking back and realizing like, man, this person really made it out like they were somebody. Somebody special that should really be in my life or should have access in my life. Oh, my gosh. My throat chakra is messing up. <laughs> okay. I felt like I was about to choke, y'all. My eyes trying to tear up and everything. <clears throat> they don't want me to say this. That's what it is. <laughs> this is a player. This is somebody who comes in. They're like, Oh, I want long-term commitment. I want to be in this relationship. I want to build a family. I want to do this. I want to do that. Really? Really, though? And you're realizing now, like, this person played the fuck out of me. <laughs> like, <laughs> they were a time waster. Whooping sheep's clothing, wasting time, player. Yeah, kissing ass. Look, idol. Love, respected, admired, or idolized. Like, this person really came in. They they seen that I was a, a high value, high catch, you know, whatever you know, whatever you want to call it. They seen I was somebody special, and they came in, and it's like the string-along thing, right? I'm going to come in. I'm going to be this great person. I'm going to show them I'm all that in a bag of chips, only to find out that this offer was half fucking dead. Like, <laughs> and you're looking back, and you're kind of, like, reflecting on things like, dang, how did I... Like the red flags, you know, like looking at the red flags, like, wow, how did I not see that? But they, they don't have you in your head anymore now that you're reflecting on these things. Like you're like, that person was never, it was like somebody you thought you were going to spend the rest of your life with or somebody you thought you would always be best friends with. And you're like, dang, how did, you know, it really hurt you at first. It had you fucked up in the head. But now the more that you look back on it, you're like, well, they did lie. You know, they were full of shit. They, they're broke. Like, they, they came off like they had it together, but they really didn't. Clarify the Nine of Swords. Moving. Yeah, I see you distancing yourself from this person. Really, like, crying over you. Some of y'all, y'all may be going through a breakup right now. Like, you might literally be packing this person's shit and sitting it outside on the curb. I don't know who that is, but that is, like, so false shit, like. Oh, by the way, don't even worry about coming inside the house. Your shit's right there. Like, <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Crying of you, sad, hurt, upset, etc. Moving on. Thank you. Next, look. Like I'm telling you, and this person is gonna be crying. It's not funny. It's not funny. Stop, Les. It's not funny. But this person showed you who they are. That's the crazy thing. Like, you looked at and was like, "Hold the fuck on." Uh. -uh. You toxic. <laughs> like, I'm telling you, it's like, mm -mm, I can't deal with this here. Like, I'm moving on from this same shit, different day. You could have told this person, like, hey, you could have gave them a couple of warnings. Like, hey, look, we need to get this together. If you can't show me you love me, you care about me, then I'm going to move on. 
And like this person, they was like, yeah, okay, I'm gonna change. And they never changed. Like maybe they changed for a couple of days and then that was it. Um <laughs> some of y'all, this person, like they would, if they haven't done this already, they'll they'll, they'll probably try to do it again. But like giving money and then force or forces things on you, forces their way in, uses force to get what they want. This person could be quite manipulative. Like they would give to you to just get back into your energy or get back into your, your life. You see what I'm saying? Like, this is the type of person they would like, come give you a gift and be like, Hey, uh, you know, I'm really, really sorry, you know, blah, 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 blah. And then they would try to gift you with something just so you would allow them access back into your life. For some of y'all that, you know, this is a person that, yeah, it's something about your energy, Scorpio. And to you, good chemistry, great vibes and positive. It's like something about your energy is intoxicating. It's like, it's like you, you know, you love caffeine and you ain't had caffeine in three, four days. And then you finally get it and it's like a drug, you know, it's like a hit. Something, it, they're going to try, it, even if they haven't already, they're going to try their best to like just get their foot in the door to just latch on to you. You know what I'm saying? Give me another one for this nine of swords in reverse, reflecting and moving, please, spirit. Family issues. Some of y'all, they may try to use kids if y'all have children. They may try to use the children to get their way back into your life. You know, like, hey, uh, I just want to do like a family date or... Hey, can we take the kids so-and-so? Or like, you know, they're like, oh, well, I put the kids in sports, so now I got to come pick them up. And, you know, it's, it's something <sighs> fake flexing and bankrupt. Yeah, be careful. Legal issues. Be careful because I feel like this person, they're only doing it just to get back into your... I love when my cars do this. I love it. Once you back in low IQ, they're still low vibration of whoever the fuck this is. I'm telling you, they're going to wrap them little selves up. They're going to take that little turd. They're going to wrap it up in a little bow. They're going to put the little suit on it, little eyeballs and shit like that. Hey, I got you a gift, and it's still shit. Once you back low IQ, they're still low vibrational. They're still in the toxicities. They're still dippling and dabbling with whatever they're doing. Some of y'all, they just use the freaking children or family. This is like, oh, you know, uh, that's... This is like that type of ex, which nothing's wrong with that. Like, I'm still cool with uh, my ex's family and stuff like that. But, like, this is the one that, like, overdoes it. Like, oh, we're going, I want to hang out with uh, your sister because we're, like, best friends. And we're going to go out. And then, like, they'll sit over your house all day just to be like, oh, we're hanging. It's me and yours. I'm not even here to see you. It's just me and, me and your sister. We're hanging out. But they're just doing it kind of, like, invade your space. That's this. That's this type of person. Okay. Okay. Just to kind of like spy on you, see what you're up to, see what you got going on. Okay. Give me one for this nine of swords in reverse, reflecting, moving, and family issues, please, spirit. Coffin. Yeah. They, it's like they want to uh, rebirth this courthouse. They want to rebirth this. They want to resuscitate it here with this coffin in reverse. They don't want it to end. They don't want it to come to a close. It's like they, they still want to... And it could be because they see a lot of wealth coming towards you. Hold on, guys. It's like the sudden wealth and expectation. It's like um, this person could see a lot of wealth on you, you know, or their ex. Yeah, the gift. They see a lot of wealth on you, a lot of money on you, a lot of financial abundance coming your way. And so they're trying to like latch on by any means necessary. You see what I'm saying? So I'll just be careful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So let's end you off with a fortune reading card so we can so i can get these videos uploaded so let's see what's going on with scorpio last message for scorpio for this reading last message for scorpio oh you got angel your angels are guiding and protecting you on your spiritual journey yes most definitely scorpio you are on your spiritual journey again you're in this love energy so you're on this very high vibration things are coming to you if you if you haven't noticed things may be coming to you easily and it's because you're vibrating high okay Son, open your heart to the enormous growth ahead. There's new opportunities coming in, new blessings coming in, a lot of growth happening in your life. And this person sees that. Like, they literally see that. And they're like, you know, like a, you know how a kid is on your back and something scary happened. They like literally, <laughs> like they grab the shit out of you and they're like, ah, you know, that's this person. Okay. So just so you know. 
That's what's happening. No matter if this is a friend, lover, whatever, but spirit is guiding you towards something. You know, listen to your intuition. Your third eye is open wide. Like you can see everything. So if something tells you something doesn't feel right, that means it's not, it's something's off. Okay. But you're very highly intuitive and you see, you know, oh my goodness, I'm so glad I pulled that card up. Look, snake, your intuition and healing powers will guide you to a better path, but be careful. I'm telling you, it's like y'all are going towards this sun and then it's like the snake and this, this, you know, energy right here. And they're like, they see it and they want to come over there, you know. They want to come over there. They want to get warm. They want to bathe in the sun. They want to bathe in this abundance and this glory with you. So by any means necessary, like if it's a brother or sister or something like that, they're like, well, we're brother and sister. We've always been brother and sister. Okay, but were we brother and sister when you were stealing money from me? Were we were we cool when you was like going behind my back, you know, talking shit about me and stuff like that? Were we still cool? Right? You know, or like that mother figure. Okay, well, Ma, you see me bossing the fuck up, but... Were we cool when I was graduating? Were you there? You know, when I graduated school, now you want to be here that I'm going into the NFL or going into the NBA or becoming this person on TV or becoming famous, whatever it is that you're doing, right? Did did you appreciate me then? Like, just because we have a title don't mean shit. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, that's what's going on. <laughs> Somebody, whoever, it could be mother, father, sister, brother, auntie, uncle, spouse whatever okay somebody did you trifling and then they still expect to be latched onto you so this is what i have for you scorpio i hope this gives you some clarity and some insight appreciate y'all so much for watching catch y'all in the next video bye guys